Hi, I'm Joe Washington. Welcome to IBM TV. This time we explore one of the most powerful technologies of the business world, the mainframe or IBM System Z. It processes much of the world's strategic information and applications. Take a look, it's powerful stuff. Beneath the surface of success lies an ocean of complexity, where every action sets in motion a flurry of interactions, transactions, and processes. It's an environment that's constantly growing, changing, evolving, challenging your ability to manage security, complexity, and cost. But at the center of this complex world is a single system that makes simplicity possible. System Z, the modern mainframe. The mainframe was introduced with the IBM System 360 in 1964. Today, its successor, System Z, is going strong. It handles new workloads like Java and Linux. It offers rock-solid reliability and security, and outstanding scalability and cost efficiency. These capabilities keep the mainframe in the game. Hoplin Entertainment is a small Brazilian company that's developing a new kind of massive multiplayer online game we call Taikadom. It's a sci-fi based game, but also a massive social game. We really wanted to have tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, being able to share the same universe. We were interested in something different for our server model, uh, especially because we wanted to be able to grow with the success our game will have. And one that had a large appeal to us was Linux on the mainframe. If you can grow by only getting new virtual servers, everything becomes more predictable, more well-behaved. From a financial standpoint, that makes a huge difference. Reliability, security, you can really, really use the powers of the mainframe. The Taika Dome game has a joystick on one end and a mainframe on the other. System Z has what it takes to make multiplayer online gaming a reality by handling a range of modern workloads. Watch the entire video to learn more. And don't miss a video about academic institutions helping meet the need for System Z skills. It's another dimension of the System Z community. In fact, IBM recently introduced a new website called Destination Z. It's a great resource for those looking to leverage the power of System Z. System Z is also a part of news about IBM and Linux. IBM has unveiled its Big Green Linux initiative as part of IBM project Big Green, a commitment to sharply reduce data center energy consumption. Big Green Linux supports replacing about 3,900 servers in IBM data centers with 30 System Z mainframes running Linux. This project will enable IBM to save enough electricity to power a small town. That's possible because one mainframe takes up less power than many small distributed computers. The key is virtualization, the ability for a single mainframe to behave like hundreds or thousands of servers. And one of the keys to virtualization is Linux. You can create many instances of Linux across virtual servers without prohibitive license fees. And power management enhancements to Linux help increase energy efficiency. IBM has also announced a new open collaboration client for Linux that will provide a cost-efficient alternative to proprietary desktop applications. And the IBM Information Server Blade running Linux. It's a pre-tested solution that helps simplify large data integration projects. IBM TV has just added a new category for Linux. Check it out and see what customers are saying about IBM solutions for Linux and more. When you look at efforts like server consolidation leveraging Linux, you see it takes more than the power of the mainframe to deliver effective IT solutions. It takes the appropriate operating systems and software too, and not just IBM software. In July, SAP announced that SAP solutions are now supported on IBM DB2.9 for ZOS. Thousands of SAP customers can take advantage of world-class performance, availability, and security. A new demo available from IBM TV shows you more about the DB2.9 for ZOS solution. But if you really want to leverage your information, you can't miss the IBM Information on Demand Global Conference. It starts October 14th, so it's time to get registered. I'd like to introduce you to another powerful part of IBM the world's largest IT financier, IBM Global Financing. It can help you with everything from financing your IT solutions, commercial financing for IBM business partners and other companies, and even asset recovery. 
Recently, IBM Global Financing introduced an innovative way to help buyers and suppliers make better use of their money. IBM Supply Chain Financing helps buyers extend the time they have to pay suppliers while it helps suppliers get paid more quickly, which frees up cash for business growth. It's a win-win solution. You can learn more from the new IBM Global Financing menu here on IBM TV. In fact, there are some other new categories on IBM TV to show you. A complete menu for customer testimonials. Consider it your own customer reference library for IT solutions. And a product lifecycle management category that's just been updated with new videos. Last time on IBM TV, we anticipated the release of IBM Lotus Notes 8 and Domino 8. Well, they're now available and collaboration will never be the same. Use IBM TV to access a webcast on Notes 8 or check out the Notes 8 demo. And don't miss the IBM Lotus Collaboration Summit events or you'll miss the latest collaboration innovations. You don't want to miss the next episode of IBM TV either. Be sure to stay tuned for the latest IBM news and multimedia. I'm Joe Washington and I'll see you next time on IBM TV.